Showtime VR Online is the ultimate solution for organizing and managing a VR presentation on many headsets placed anywhere in the world. With Showtime VR Online, you can present any VR video content on hundreds or thousands of VR headsets synchronically. Please have a look at how the system works. After signing up for the subscription and setting up your password, you will be brought to the My Account screen. You can see your subscription details here. Upgrade or change your plan, change your password, and find links to the app download page and FAQ. In order to start using Showtime VR Online, go to the Portal section. On this screen, you can create a show. A show is an event with a group of paired VR headsets. You can have multiple shows created depending on your subscription level. After creating a show, you can rename it here. The show screen will provide you with a unique access key that allows your VR headsets to connect to it. Start your Showtime VR Player app in the advanced mode, open the show panel, and enter the access key here. This process should be repeated on any headset that you wish to operate within this show from a single controller. A single headset can be connected to only one show at a time. If you wish to connect to a different show, you can unregister from the player app interface, or you can remove a registered device from the show screen in the portal section. After completing this process, you can see the device on the player list. You can check the device details, including the player app version and the device name specified in the config file. Now you can add branding assets for any device that will be connected to this show. Click the Upload button, which will bring you to the Library section. You can upload your logo and Skybox images here. Simply drag and drop the files into the Upload box and click Start Upload. Once the upload is complete, we can go back to the Show in Portal section. Now you are ready to start the show. Set it to On and open the online controller. Your headset should appear on the Players list and you can start your synchronic playbacks. Detailed information about controller usage is available in the Showtime VR local tutorial video. Let's now see how to distribute content to the devices connected to your show using the library. First, you need to upload some videos to the cloud storage. In the content section, we can see the folder structure used by Showtime VR. This is very specific and allows us to properly display various media formats without the need to readjust the frame format in the headsets. You can upload the videos to the correct folders directly. For example, a 360-degree stereoscopic video to the 3D subfolder under the Videos folder. You can also have your own structure to help you catalog content in a more project-based manner. Click on My Structure, create a folder with the desired name, and select files to upload. Again, drag and drop the files to the Upload box. Now specify what media type and frame format those files are. The specified frame format will allow the player app to download the files into correct folders and display them properly in the headset. Now click the Start Upload button. Once the files are uploaded, you can go to the Group section. Here you can see your show as well as any manually created device groups. You can now click on the Add Task button. Select the files that you want to distribute and click Create. This will tell any headsets that are in this group or that will be added to this group later to start downloading those files. The download process is automatic and does not require any actions in the player app interface as long as the headset is online. The task screen will display any tasks that are active. You can check the devices and the files transfer progress in the devices screen. The Showtime VR Player interface will also display any files that are being transferred. Once the transfer is done, you can go back to the Online Controller tab and start playback of the newly distributed files. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you need more information, please check our FAQ or detailed user manuals available in the download section of our website.